What's up, crazy people? It's Nick Teller, and this is actually just one of my uh, cigar guitar amps. Just wanted to show it off. Uh, made this a couple days ago. As you can see, it is a, I'd say about four inch speaker. You got your gain, your volume, your on and off switch, and your input. Now, as of right now, it is a battery, op battery operated. It's running off a of 9 volt, as you can see. Um, as soon as I get an actual AC adapter, I'm going to put it in the back of it so it actually run off the wall, save batteries. Uh, it's a Romeo and Julieta cigar box. Kind of cool. I drilled holes in the side because this actually, this speaker actually came from a subwoofer for a computer speaker set. Uh, it's a bit bassy, which that's fine because a lot of guitar players like playing through, you know, basements and stuff like that from Fender. Uh, so I drilled some holes to relieve some of that. It didn't really do much, but uh, it actually sounds the best once you lift up the lid a couple inches. You can hear both the treble and the bass, and that's kind of cool. But we're going to test it out a little bit. And uh, this is just Squire Strat. What I'm going to do is play on the bridge pickup tone all the way open, everything, so just, I want to show you the cleans. Now, it has very nice cleans, but as you can tell, it still has, you know, it's only a half watt. This is a, once again, it's a little gym circuit. Uh, so, at, you know, reasonable volume, no distortion, but as soon as you start playing louder. Has that crunch. So, um, that's clean. I always like playing on the neck, um, turning the tone, you know, halfway, if not a little bit more, and finger, you know fingering the notes. Get that jazz. Uh, even if you do get a little bit of distortion, it just, you know, just adds it warmth. Alright, so that is the clean. Now I'm going to open back up, all tones open, full blast, uh, neck pickup, or uh, bridge pickup, and I'm going to turn on the gain. Now, it calls for a 5k ohm pot, uh, linear, but I put a 10k just to see what happened. It's just what I found, everything, all the 5 K's at Radio Shack were very long posts, so it would stick out by there. Um, in doing so, I don't really have any effect or gain till it reaches 7 to 10, so that's really, you know, just one third of the knob. Um, I'm probably going to have to convert it by using, you know, resistors to cut it back down to a 5K. Uh, as you can see, it's that clean. You can kind of tell, you know, it's there. Saturation and then full blast. So, I mean, it has a lot of saturation. Uh, there's a lot of mids in it. Um, I build little gems. I like having their cleans, especially, you know, reasonable volume. I can actually use them as practice amps. I actually use, sometimes I use them as portable stereos for laptops because the laptop speakers are really, you know, bright and tingy and brittle. Uh, but, if 
forgot what I was about to say. It's really late. But, um, as for the distortion, I, I like I said before in previous videos, I don't make them for the distortion. So, if I've seen people just add on, you know, boss effects, boss metals, uh, DOD, all that good stuff. So, that's about it. <coughs> guys enjoyed get inspired make one of these I made this for about ten bucks two dollars for the speakers or the speaker one dollar for the cigar box I had uh, the power switch I had the pots actually I'm sorry I had the knobs didn't have the pots had to get those uh, I have had a lot of the uh, components already in my storage have a lot of inputs so it's pretty much just drilling holes and making that circuit board uh, what I suggest is if you guys are starting out, instead of running out to Radio Shack and just buying all the individual parts, which can be pretty expensive, um, go to like you know Goodwill, uh, Salvation Army, and just buy cheapo radios and uh, alarm clocks or anything like that. Just when you see a dollar or something like that, take it home, bust it open, uh, buy a desolder. As you can see over here, I have a solder, but a desolder kit will help you out a lot by just stealing components. Um, take as many uh, resistors as you can find, um, you know, capacitors, uh, pots, potentiometers, everything like you can actually find. Now, a lot of them in normal electronics, the pots aren't like guitars, you know, they're just these little trimmers that are kind of soldered onto the board itself. But if you can find, uh, you know, these kind of pots right here, uh, take them. It's kind of, you know, it's actually pretty cool because you can actually just go out and look at electronics totally different, see what you can salvage. Anytime somebody's throwing away stereos or anything like that, take them most of the time. Uh, there's already, you know, preamps and everything like that in there. You can kind of get to learn uh, what this, the basics are. So I just wanted to show you guys this is my newest box. Uh, I usually give them away to people who don't have practice amps. I just, you know, it doesn't cost anything. It just keeps giving me experience with electronics. So, good night, everybody.